guys, it's Kales, and I'm here to tell you that Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass and Cinder by Marissa Meyer are the same book. Don't believe me? Here's a couple reasons why. Let me tell you a story. The book begins with a main girl with some badass skills. However, she has not had it easy. In some form or another, she's a slave. And she also has some serious memory issues about her past. She lives in this made-up kingdom that is ruled by a royal monarchy and with different species living in it, and it's safe to say that these species don't get along with humans. This main girl uses her said skills to help out the royal family and develops a rapport with them. Also, there's this really hot prince that she develops a relationship with. There's also this tyrant that's a threat to the world as they know it and is completely evil. There's like no redemption whatsoever regarding this tyrant. Rounding out the rest of the characters, there is a female best friend who the main girl heavily relies on. They share plenty of secrets with each other and, and think of each other as sisters even though they're actually not. In the beginning of the story, not so subtly slipped in there, is a story about a long-lost princess who's the rightful heir to the crown and will supposedly save them from this tyrant. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, smack! Along the way, the main girl gets some help from someone who's related to the royal family, a sort of spy, if you will, who knows about the girl's secrets. And the spy tells the girl that she must be the one to fight against this tyrant. But the girl's not having it! No! Because she's scared or she doesn't think she's capable or whatever. She just wants her freedom and she feels that if she pays off enough of her debts, she'll get that freedom. Suddenly, tragedy strikes and the best friend character dies. A tragic death the main girl blames herself for and will haunt the main girl for the rest of the series, but it also fuels the main girl into finally accepting her mission that she must defeat the tyrant. At the end of the book, right near the climax, the girl is placed in this dire situation where she must put herself in harm's way to save her beloved. By doing some through some magic or another, the girl's true form is revealed. She is the long lost princess, but she is also of a different species, but which completely freaks the living daylights out of her true love, despite the fact that she just saved his ass. In the end, the main girl must leave the kingdom and go to a different land so she can better learn to develop her powers, find out more about her true self and her past, and leave her true love behind so she can finally rise up and defeat the tyrant through revolution and reclaim her rightful place on the throne. Know what story I'm talking about? I do. That's why these two books, Cinder and Crown of Midnight, are the same. If you have any more reasons these books are the same or completely disagree, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Until next time, bye! Also, Celine and Selena, I'm sorry. I know one's an alias and I know one's the true name, but come on, there's too many similarities. It's two similar people.